this is Hero GFX here, and today I have a Photoshop tutorial for you on how to create this wire uh, effect, I guess, wire design um, in Photoshop. You can use this for GFX backgrounds, YouTube backgrounds, um, Twitter background, anything, any pictures, designs, whatever. This is just how to show you the uh, wire design. So it's pretty simple what you have to do this is basically the finished product as you see here so let's go ahead and get started so first what we're going to do is go up to file new uh, 1280 by 720 72 pixels per inch um, and then make sure the background contents is white um, so what we're going to do is first of all we need to unlock this and this is just for people that don't know how to do this because I never knew how and it's the simplest thing and everybody knows how to do it. Simply double click this, either click OK or just press enter and the layer becomes unlocked and so you can do more things with it now. So first let's go into blending options here, gradient overlay. Uh, this is simply just to make a nice background for the tutorial. All right, just click reverse, how about we go radial. Turn that up to 150. Alright. That'll do. So that's just to get a nice background for this whole thing. Okay, so what we are going to do is come down here on the left side over here, the toolbar. As you see here, the uh, rectangle tool. Typically that's the default right there, rectangle. We're going to go ahead and use the rounded rectangle. Come over here and just drag two shapes anywhere you want. Let's just do that. Um, so that's just there to be there. Let's go ahead and come in here, gradient overlay, radial. Let's move this so I see what I'm doing. You know what? How about we just say, ah, you know what, that looks fine. Forget it. Okay, let's go ahead and copy that. Uh, let's come down here and paste. All right, let's just, one last thing. Uh, make it white. Let's go down to one. Inside. Center. Yeah, ah, let's just go center. Alright, so again, let me just copy this real quick. Paste layer style. Alright, there we have it. Let's make those small. Alright, so those are our boxes just so you see where they're at, know what you're doing. Alright, so the next step, we will be using the pen tool to draw our uh, wiring designs. But before you do that, go ahead and click on the brush tool right here in a, about the upper middle section of the thing. Uh, click down on this, and now what you're going to want to do is um, select a default up here that has a hardness of 100. Even if you select one of these fades and change it to 100, the wiring just looks weird. It kind of thins out at the ends, and just it doesn't look like wiring. It just looks something else. So make sure you do one of these hard round, hard round ones. Um, Alright, so and then pixel size, I'm just going to go ahead and go with 18, I'll leave it where it's at. So next what we want to do is come down here in the bottom right, create two new layers, layer 1, layer 2. Let's go ahead and drag those down under both of the rectangle pieces, and uh, but we want to keep it above the background layer there. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on layer 1. Come on over here to the left and click on the pen tool. Make sure the setting is path, and it is on the pen tool. The default is there, but sometimes uh, if you're working on something else, you know, it might have gotten changed. So now what we want to do is click on the box, and then whoops, 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 whoops there we go. All right, layer one. First, you want to click uh, your first point. You want it to be not at the edge of the box, like here. You want it to be in it, so then it looks like the wires are flowing from inside of it and stuff, and it's not a hard cut or anything. Let's go ahead and cut right there. 
Then let's drag it up here, drag it out, make a little bend, drag it down here, hold it, make a little bend, and we'll come up here and make another little bend. All right, so pretty simple. So, um, so far we have these nice curved bends here, pretty simple stuff. All right, now what you're going to want to do is right click on here so you get this tool pull up bar or whatever, and come down to stroke path. And the default is going to be is going to look exactly like this. It's going to say pencil and simulate pressure will be unchecked. So go ahead and click on this. Go to brush, and then go ahead and click on simulate pressure. So there's a check mark by it. Click OK. So now we have the black outline that followed the line that you made. Go ahead and hit delete once or twice. That'll get rid of the path. And so now you just have this black, um, kind of looks like a tube or whatever, coming out. So let's go ahead and double click on layer one and bring it up here. And now what we're going to do is add some effects to this so it actually looks more like a wire instead of just a curvy line. Go ahead and click on bevel and embulse. Uh, if you want, you can click on contour. Sometimes I do because as you see, it adds a little more of a glow to the top. The bevel has it itself, but that just adds a little more, you know. Stay away from stroke. Um, though, for most things, it makes it look better, more depth. With wires and such like this, let's see if I can zoom in. As you can see up here, here, let's make the stroke color red so you can see it. There we go. It's very pixelated. I know I'm zoomed in, but it's still very pixelate, pixelated and it's just very not fluent so you want to stay away from that so let's go ahead and unclick that now we're going to come down here to gradient overlay and let's see let's go with blue so we'll make we'll have a dark blue for the first one and let's come over here and let's have a little lighter blue I like that okay so as you see so far, looking pretty good. Uh, I typically use the reflected just because sometimes it adds more volume, I guess you could say, to it. Let's see, nah, nah. Let's get that at 100. All right. All right. If I reverse it, eh, I like that. All right. So, so far, we have now this design and not so much 3D, but it kind of pops out and has depth to it because of the bevel and contour. So we're going to come down here to a drop shadow since we can't use stroke and that'll give it a nice background uh, shadow to kind of just show it off a little more. Let's, in let's increase the size and I tend to increase the spread a little bit. Sometimes I'll increase the distance just to give it a little more depth as well. All right, let's go ahead and keep that. Let's see if I drag this in. Ooh. All right, so as you saw, originally I had it like that. Clicked on the bevel and emboss up here. Bring the angle, and I drag it in normally closer to the middle. It'll kind of round it off a little more, give it more of a glow up top as well. That's just kind of your preference, whatever you, whatever you like. Alright, so let's go ahead and click OK on that. Oh, one one other thing I forgot. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Pattern Overlay to give it a nice metal look. So it actually looks like copper wiring or um, carbon fiber and stuff like that. So you want to come to Gradient Overlay. Change the opacity down to, I don't know, 75-ish. It's again kind of your preference. That's typically what I use. It's kind of the default I use, and then I'll play around with it. Come into here. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to this one. Uh, see if I make the scale a little smaller, if it'll stick out more. There you go. Now you can see it. All right, so we'll keep that. Let's play around with the... Ooh, there you go. Now you can really see it. All right, keep that at 50. Click OK. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and just hit 
copy layer style so we don't have to do all that again for the second layer. Just so that's there. So now, once you're done with this, go ahead and click on layer 2. Head on over here to the pen tool. You're going to do the same thing. Um, I typically try to go opposite of the first wire just to give it more of a design. So we'll come down here. So how about we bring it up and we bring it this way. Add some more curve to it and finish it off there. See how that looks. So again, now that you are complete, go ahead and hit stroke path after you right click on it. Now it should be still on brush and simulate pressure. If not, go ahead and just change it to the settings right here. Click OK. Delete, delete gets rid of the path so now you have again this black wiring let's go ahead and just hit paste layer style so now you have two basically identical layers so let's come into this let's go gradient overlay let's change the color to I don't know nice purple okay let's see let's make it kind of a bright pinkish purple and then follow it off with more of a darker purple. That looks good. I like that. Um, I'm coming to here, play around with this, these uh, designs a little more. Just see what I like out of it. I like that. Drag that over, click OK. So now okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Let's drag this down a little bit because you can kind of see the shadow right there where it was. As you see, shadow right there. So let's go ahead and drag that down just a little bit so everything's nice and hidden. So this is the final product. There was the first one I showed you. This is the second. Um it's pretty simple. If there's any any questions you have, just send me a, either a message about it. Be like, oh, in your wire tutorial, I didn't understand this step. Can you re-explain it? Or post a comment. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like this if you enjoyed it. Please like it if it made sense. If you were able to do the same thing. Um... Please subscribe. As always, this is my new channel. Uh, this is a brand new start. I got about, I don't know, seven subscribers right now, uh, which is pretty good considering it's been up for two days. Uh, I got speed arts, tutorials, and such. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you liked the product I gave you and the tutorial I described for you. Um, this is looking pretty cool. I really like it. You can go ahead and also, one, one other thing just for just for fun. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Um, sometimes I come down in here and I play around with it to kind of erase this. And you have to play around with it. You can't just do it right away because it gets a little whatever. But um, kind of play with it so it looks like it's the wires are kind of interweaving between each other. Just gotta, like I said, play with it. it's kind of tedious there that actually looks pretty good so as you see now it looks like the purple wire came under the blue and then came out on cross uh, on top of it and then they finished like that so just some other little tricks you can play around with um, again you can change any of these settings in here oh did not mean to do that um, to any any numbers you like the ones I did were just my personal preferences, what I thought looked good. So please comment, rate, subscribe. I don't know. Go tell everybody. Tell an alpaca. I don't know.